I'm Rebecca Lee and I'm at King's College in London to talk to the people behind Monsters University. The prequel to Monsters Inc. sees us go back in time to when Mike and Sully first started university. So what's the new movie all about? I caught up with director Dan Scanlon and producer Corey Ray earlier. So Dan Scanlon and Corey Ray, it's lovely meeting you both. Um, so first of all, Dan, can you tell us what's Monsters University all about? Well, it's, uh, Monsters University is actually a prequel to Monsters, Inc., meaning it takes place about 10 to 15 years before the first film. And it's the story of how Mike and Sully met while attending college. Now, I understand you weren't involved in the first Monsters, Inc. How did the opportunity for you to get involved in Monsters University come about? Yeah, I think that um, I had worked in the story department uh, as a story artist on both Cars, the first Cars, and uh, Toy Story 3. And I think that uh, from that experience, uh, John Lasseter and, and, and Pete Docter felt comfortable um, having me take over the reins and, and, uh, and, and work on this film. Brilliant. Now, Corey, uh, you worked on Monsters, Inc. Um, what were the biggest challenges you faced in bringing Mike and Sully back to the big screen? Well, I think... Uh you know, it all revolved around story because, and doing a prequel and going backwards and knowing how the, the film ends uh, mm -hmm. was difficult. And so that was our biggest challenge and, and that's what we focused the most on and spent the most energy on, was making sure that we were telling a story that wasn't predictable even though you know how it ends. And Dan, was there much um, about Monsters University that you wanted to change when you took it on? Pretty much throughout the entire three or four years we were making changes and adjustments. Um, uh, my main concern was that we make a, a fun, funny movie, but that it have heart, that there be a, uh, a theme and a purpose for having the, the movie yeah. exist. Right. So now a question for both of you. Um, what new monsters can we expect to see this time around? <laughs> There's a whole new cast of, yeah. uh, of new monsters. Uh, there's, a, there's a great uh, group of, of monsters, the fraternity, the Uzma Kappas, and uh, they kind of partner up with Mike and Sully, and uh, they're, they're fantastic. They, they're basically they're really the monsters that weren't scary enough to get in the scare school, so sort of sad, <laughs> non-scary monsters. And then we have a very scary monster who's the dean of the school, Dean Hardscrabble. And the idea was that she is one of the greatest scares of all time. And that she's now mm -hmm. teaching at the university. She's voiced by Helen Mirren, who does a beautiful job of uh, being a very intimidating mm -hmm. monster. About Helen Mirren, actually, uh, Cory, you were in charge of casting. Um, Helen, how hard was it to get her involved? You know, uh, surprisingly, uh, I think uh, it, w it wasn't actually that hard. I mean, we called her up, we told her about the film. Uh, we told her about the character, and she actually, um, because she's so amazing and so professional, she wanted to come and audition and make sure that she was right for the character. And so, um, so she came, and, and it was fantastic, and she did read for it. And uh, but she, she got the part. She got the part. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she was amazing to work with, and it's just a pleasure. And uh, Dan, when making Monsters University, were you ever concerned that there might be some scenes that might scare kids or some monsters that might actually give kids a fright? Sure, um, you know, I think it's always a thing we have to keep in mind, but we, we make the movies at first kind of for ourselves, uh, but, mm -hmm. uh, but we certainly every now and then uh, need to, uh, just to kind of say, is that too scary? Is that, you know, we want, we want the movie to be thrilling. Uh, I think the good thing is a lot of times the scares are coming from Mike or Sully or a monster that you're familiar yeah. with, a monster that a kid knows is, is friendly. And how hard was it to recreate some of those college scenes and keep a family friendly at the same yeah. time? <laughs> yeah, that too. I mean, we, we wanted to capture the feel of college and what we realized early on is what John Lasseter called sort of the ruckus nature of college. As long as people are just sort of going crazy and, and beating garbage out of garbage cans and smashing <laughs> things, uh, then we don't need to get specific as to what else they're doing other than that. And uh, which monsters would you say are your personal favorites? Uh, one of my favorites is, uh, is Miss Squibbles, Squishy's mom, uh, because she's just everybody's mom and she's funny um, and uh, has some hidden, hidden likes and dislikes. Yeah. So she's uh, I think we both love uh, Dean Hartscrabble, who yeah. I mentioned earlier, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, also um, Art. Art is sort of this bizarre character. <laughs> what I like about him is he's kind of that 
He's that weird guy you knew in university or around that age who you know nothing about. What is his history? What is his past? Does he have a family? I don't know. It's just very bizarre. <laughs> and finally, is this the last we'll see of the Monsters series? I don't know. You know, we, we, we're still <laughs> wrapping up this one. We haven't really had a chance to think about that too much. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, Dan Scanlon and Corey Ray, listen, thank you so much for joining us today. So there you have it, Monsters University promises plenty of laughs, plenty of scares and plenty of new characters. Monsters University hits cinemas here on the 12th of July.